Hey, so as I mentioned, um, I am enjoying my vacation so far. Minus the fact that I do feel slightly under the weather. So we're going to take it easy. But when I tell you this place is gorgeous, you're not going to believe it. So let me show you. So this is where I'm staying. There's a trail there that I might venture off to in a little bit. What did I tell you though? I am just so relaxed right now. I'm very relaxed. Super dope. my spot. Just chilling and relaxing. <clears throat> there is a pool, but I'm not sure about that pool because, yeah. It was rainy yesterday. Anyway, those are the vibes. It's just gorgeous. I definitely think I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day. I might get food. I was thinking about going to the islands today, but I don't really want to rip and run like I thought I wanted to originally. I'll rip and run tomorrow. I think today is gonna be an R&R &R day instead. So I might not make it to the islands only plan. So I was originally planning on going to two islands are close by. We're even going to like the rainforest. But <clears throat> I don't know. As soon as I got here and then my <clears throat> I started to not feel so well, I realized no, you need to actually for once take a vacation that's an R&R &R vacation like seriously relax for once so I think that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some good food here and then I'm gonna relax and then tomorrow is where I'm gonna rip it around a little bit because I have to go to my next destination but I'm gonna start that early up and running and go to quite a few different places quite a few beaches if the weather's cooperative, the weather right now is great. Um, it is humid, but it is pretty nice out. It's really awesome, actually. And yeah, this has kind of been the vibe, though. This is why I was not on camera during those reviews and why, 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 I um, wasn't going to really do the reviews on, that's also why the reviews didn't come out on time and also the reason why that the, um, the reason why that the um, Get Fit With Me Presents Accountability didn't, didn't come out. You're going to get a couple of Get Fit With Me Presents Accountability while I'm here. But those are going to be like scheduled to be there next month. So also, I guess, mind you, that does also tell you something. I ran only like three times last week. Um, no, I, I did. I got my runs in last week. And I got my yoga in. I didn't get the gym in. I got one day at the gym in and that was it. 
Um, <clears throat> this week and even next week, I may not get the runs in. Like, I am literally, I'm in, people have been trying to tell me, girl, treat this like a vacation. You're on vacation. You're three weeks off. Treat as such. So, I don't think I'm going to go back to really running regularly again until I get back from vacation. Um, I might run a couple times on the beach, but right now I'm not going to for obvious reasons. You can probably tell my voice I'm kind of under the weather. Uh, <clears throat> change of climate and temperature messes me up every single time and yeah anyway um that does conclude a little bit of day one um i'm gonna take you with me to other places that i go throughout the day because i am gonna get some real try to get some really good food um and hopefully beat the rain because i did notice and this might make my vacation a little bit lackluster, so I might have to come back. Um, it's, like, scheduled to ring, like, every day this week. <laughs> like, the whole entire time I'm here ring. Um, but I don't care. I need to change the scenery. I need to change the location. And literally feeling like I'm stuck in the middle of a rainforest. Yeah! I'm okay with it. It's good. Anyway, bye. So this is an old, what's left of an old sugar mill. This town's known for making sugar, or was known for that. And it's really abandoned, as you can see. Since it's been storming, there's no way I'm going in any of this stuff because it's truly abandoned. And even says on the site to enter at your own risk. But I just wanted to see it far away, see what it looks like. But yeah, it looks like a typical banded building, but really it's actually uh, a sugar mill, former sugar mill. So yeah.
hello welcome back to my channel i just wanted to stay so day one this is the end of day one or towards the end of day one anyway and yes i'm wearing a bikini because i was outside for a little bit just in the yard where i'm staying at my airbnb and i did kind of show you a little bit what the airbnb has going on i didn't go in the pool because there's stuff in the pool but <laughs> because it rained yesterday um, but today I definitely did just kind of relax. So just, um, the plan for this trip, I probably should have mentioned before. I don't think I even mentioned the trip number one. So by the way, if you guys haven't figured it out, I'm in Puerto Rico. And so the week before this trip, no plans of rain, none. I'm here. It's supposed to literally ring every day. And even today it rang just a little bit, not too much. It wasn't as bad as me getting here. So with that being said, I've been having to switch focus. And that's also the reason why I say Airbnbs, just in case weather does not cooperate at the Airbnb to be able to just relax and chill. So pretty much today has been one of those days where I've relaxed and chilled, got caught up with some other videos I needed to do. And also I did get, get to check out a place called um Ecorican bar and restaurant and it is a small bar that's outside the city i'm staying at um or town i'm staying at and it is a fusion between ecuadorian food and puerto rican food and what i had for lunch was amazing i <laughs> i of course had to keep it american a little bit and get some french fries because i love me some papas fritas french fries um we know i love that and then i also got um some spicy um crab tacos and those were good and then for dinner because i just decided to get both because i wasn't sure if it was going to rain or not i was not going to try to ride these roads with the roads being crazy because that's another thing i should mention anyone who ever does plan to come to puerto rico and you're staying anywhere that's outside san juan or a major city i will highly recommend get your driving in during the day do not try to drive at night. It's not safe and not like crime rate safe. More or less, the roads are really, really windy. They're small and there's no lights. Like it's hard to see. Um, I unfortunately experienced that the hard way on day one. We already talked about it. But so I went ahead and got lunch and dinner and the dinner, the way I'm looking forward to that dinner is going to be so good. I got some salmon with some, um, oh, I can't think, of the, can't even think of the words of it now. It's a known Puerto Rican dish. I will put it out. It's a known, known Puerto Rican side. I'll go ahead and put it here because I do not remember what it's called right now. I literally just drew a blank as I'm doing this video. Anyway, so that's what I got for dinner. And then for tomorrow, the game plan is to basically get to the other side of the island, but do it scenically. Uh, so I have most of the day to do that. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to do the ferry today and I did not get to do, um, go to the rainforest. And I wasn't gonna risk it because number one, I woke up not feeling so well. So I was like, ah, I guess we're gonna do this first half of the trip. So I forgot to mention. So this part of the trip, Re R and R, full R and R mode. So, relaxing, chilling, not trying to do too much. The trip that's head that's gonna come up tomorrow, we're gonna be doing some things. We're gonna be trying to like be out and about a little bit. And then the next trip, because I'll be up in the mountains yet again. Because for those who haven't figured it out, apparently I love the mountains. So we'll go. We'll be back in the mountains again, but we'll be like in the center part of the island. And that's gonna be full on relaxation, chill, but I am gonna try to do some rainforest hikes if it's not raining. Because if it's raining in the rainforest, well, you already know how that's gonna go. Um, and then last but not least, the San Juan piece. And San Juan piece, you know I'm gonna go to old San Juan. I'm gonna try to go to, get, go to the rum, play, go to get some rum, try to go to breweries, that kind of stuff. And then I'll be headed home. So that's pretty much kind of the plan of the trip. Um, I'll have to come back another time to do the islands. Um, and also too, I guess for those who ever do want to do the Puerto Rico thing, you don't need a passport, number one. But 
I would definitely brush up on your Spanish. Um, fortunately, the Spanish kind of came back to me as I was here because I used to be able to speak Spanish a little bit. <laughs> but if you don't have any, like if you don't practice Spanish speaking at all, you might have a little bit of a hard, tough time if you're outside of San Juan. Me, um, because yeah, there's a lot of people I've talked to so far where I had to kind of struggle bus talk to them. <laughs> so I'll just say that. Um, also to driving around here. Um, if you're driving around here, I know I mentioned obvious about the roads being kind of windy and stuff and small town roads and stuff like that. Because mind you, the minimum repair or minimum um, repair was done as far as the hurricane's concerned. So they didn't really do much to do anything about what happened with that hurricane. So the roads are not, some of the roads are still good as far as like repaved and stuff, but a lot of them are not. They're still pretty damaged from the hurricane that happened quite a few years ago. So be mindful of that. Also too, if you do stay at Airbnbs, use the directions they give you. Do not use directions from Google Map because you'll just get lost. Like they have to drop a pen because it'll take you whatever way and not necessarily a good way. Because again, Google Maps is not the most up to date since really the hurricane. So there's that. Also, last but not least, the other thing I would say pro tip wise for a solo dolo tripping Puerto Rico or even a group trip or whatever is cheap. So I know I'm not gonna have any problem coming back. I'm gonna definitely come back and it's super affordable. I mean, it's really affordable. I made this shift and decided to come here because of my job elimination. Um, Cause I knew, okay, I can at least afford this. And honestly, I'm glad I did it because I am zinned out and I am r and ring so there's that. So those are all the things I would say what I learned for the past day and a half. So day zero, me getting here and day one. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully drink a lot of mojitos at some point <laughs> when I don't have to drive anywhere. Um, so preferably when I get to the, the retreat um, in the mountains, cause retreat in the mountains is uh, like a health and wellness retreat but they have vegan food and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm pretty sure once I'm at that retreat, I'm not gonna really go anywhere because it's kind of meant for you to be in that area and stay there. So I'm gonna definitely take advantage of that. And oh yeah, when I'm in San Juan, cause that's around the time when my birthday happens, we're gonna have ourselves a good time. Um, and I'm staying at a hotel. So I can at the bare minimum drink at the hotel bar if I need to. But anyway, that does conclude day one of this trip i'll show you the dinner once we get to that point but yeah it's been a time i'm glad i got the y'all should have been this should have been a huge hint for those who didn't know this um vacation here because we gone we outside anyway bye now i am about to get to it so this is the salmon i was talking about with my fungo I am about to go in. I'm excited. It looks good. Yeah. It's about to be a thing. Side note, I do have coconuts here because um, there's coconut trees and stuff everywhere here along with um, mango trees. And yeah, I don't know how to really open it, so therefore I'm not touching it. But it's there. But anyway, yep, we're about to get to it. Send the rocks across the